Come on down, Doctor. Take a seat. Yes, thank you. So, Elvin, what made you want to be a doctor? So, when I was in year three, I was learning about frogs and I was so fascinated that I wanted to learn about the human body. So when mum picked me up home from school, I asked her, can I please learn about the human body? But unfortunately, she said, sorry, Albert, but you're too young, but I didn't listen to her. <laughs> so instead of listening to her, I borrowed books from the library and I studied on the computer. And always when my mum and dad came in to check on me, I always changed it to my favourite cartoon. <laughs> you had to hide from your parents that you were trying to teach yourself to be a doctor. Yes. That is the exact opposite of every other kid. Yes. How did you get the name Dr Albert? When I was in the shopping centre with my mother, I accidentally almost crashed into a trolley and my mum grabbed me to save me and she said, look out, Albert, and I said, ow, mum, you pinched me on the clavicle. <laughs> <laughs> did you really? Yes. <laughs> Is that what he said? I guess exactly what he said. And my mum was like, what's the clavicle? And then I told her the clavicle is connected to the scapula, which is connected to the ribs. Oh, yeah, totes. And then my mum was like, how do you know all this? And I said, I study on the computer and borrowed books from the library. <laughs> <laughs> how disappointed she must have been. I got told that the tongue is the strongest muscle in the human body. Is that true? Yes. Let me show you how it flexes. Can you do this? Um, no, I can't roll my tongue. Well, there's one. Uh... Here's the thing. They say laughter is a good medicine. Do you agree with that? Yes. So, have you got any jokes? Yes, this is a human body joke. Yeah. What did the skeleton order for dinner? I don't know. An extra rib. <laughs> <laughs> now, I believe you've got some organs that you want to show me. Yes. Do you want to go and get them? Yes, yeah, sure. Grab the organs. You're not going to rip them out of someone in the audience, are you? Never. Oh, no, he's going that way. Thank goodness for that. <laughs> Why would I do that? That's murdering. <laughs> Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. Right. This organ is called the heart. The heart is like the airport in the human body. What, why is it like an airport? Because it has blood vessels all over the body which allow the blood to travel. That's very good. I like the way you describe it. It's the airport. What else we got here? Mm. Have I broken a bit? Yes, this is a broken bit of the heart. Don't worry, we can fix it. <laughs> Ta-da! He is a doctor! He's amazing, don't you think? I could keep going, but he's going to know. OK. So they're the organs, but there's also systems, isn't there? Yes, there is. Come for a walk with me. We are going pole vaulting. No, we're not. That's a big pole. It is a big pole. You stand here. Right, look at that. We've wow. put a body up there for you. Can you point out all the systems of the body? Why, of course. The cardiovascular system, the digestive system, the respiratory system, the nervous system, the urinary system, the immune system, the endocrine system, the skeletal system, the muscular system, the reproductive system, the sensor system, and the cell system. He's the very good, absolutely. Thank you, everyone. Now, when you're a doctor, people can come into the doctor's waiting room and you don't know what's waiting out there. They could ask you anything and you've got to be prepared to give them an answer. Yes. Who here has a question for Dr Albert? There's a gentleman down here. Dr what? Albert, what is the smallest bone in the body? The stape, also known as the ossicles, there's three bones in the stape. The hammer, the anvil and the strip. And they're so tiny that you need only this to hold one. Very good. Uh, Pretty good, isn't it? Hey. Anyone else here? Ma'am? Got a funny one. Dr Albert, can you tell me, please, why men have nipples? <laughs> That's a funny question, but 
I'll answer it for you anyway. So when we're fetus inside the womb, there's a blueprint for us to become a female until the testosterone kicks in for about 60 days. We are destined to become a boy. So we used to be girls, and that's what we call girl power. <laughs> Thank you. So you can name bones, all the bones. Every bone in the body. Could you name 25 bones as fast as you can do it? Yes. Do you mind if I use this? Absolutely. Seems it's so small and nimble. Yes. Ready to start? In three, two, one, go. Cranium, facial bones, ossicles, vertebral column, scarum, coccyx, ribcage, sternum, clavicle, scapula, humerus, radius, ulna, carpals, metacarpals, phalanges, pelvis, femur, patella, Tibia, fibula, tarsals, metatarsals, phalanges. Well done. Thank you. That is amazing. From the University of Little Big Shots, there's your hat. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Dr. Albert. Welcome to the Little Big Shots YouTube channel. This is where you'll find some of the most talented children in the world. There are new videos every week, plus bonus bits of little big shots not seen anywhere else. Just click on the links right now, and why not subscribe? Go on.